Relief tonight for families of two Americans held prisoner in North Korea. Both are free and on their way home right now. As TV 1055's Chris Van Cleve reports, their release was part of a secret mission by top U.S. intelligence officials. Kenneth Bay and Matthew Miller are on their way back to the United States following their release from North Korean prison Saturday. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper and other U.S. officials flew to Pyongyang to negotiate their release. He's accompanying the pair back to the United States on a military jet to a base in Washington state. Their release came just hours before President Obama begins a trip to Asia. It's a wonderful day for them and their families. Uh, obviously, we are very grateful. Officials say there was nothing given to North Korea in exchange for the men's release. Bay is a missionary from Washington State. He was arrested two years ago and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor for what the North Koreans said were crimes against the state. Miller of Bakersfield, California, has been in custody since April and was sentenced to six years of hard labor charged with spying. Both said in an interview with Western journalists in September that they were being treated humanely. But I've been in good health and... Um, no sickness or no hurts. Miller and Bay's release comes less than three weeks after North Korea freed fellow American, 56-year-old Jeffrey Fowl of Ohio, after six months in captivity. Fowl was taken into custody after leaving a Bible at a sailor's club. He was traveling as a tourist. Chris Van Cleve, TV 10, 55. Miller and Bay are expected to arrive at Joint Base Lewis-McChord in Washington State later tonight.